this has been really nice. I love them. To kind of blend my eyelashes with my fake ones. Welcome back to my channel today. I have an exciting kind of video that I've wanted to share for you for a while and finally decided I'd film it. I get a lot of questions on, I'd say, Instagram or pictures I tweet, or just in general on my videos about how I keep my teeth white and like my everything, questions about my teeth. So I thought I'd do a whole video kind of on my teeth that sounds a little bit creepy, but I think it'll be really helpful. I'm going to first talk about the history of my teeth when I had braces, stuff like that. Braces info if you're getting next, you know, people get braces in high school. How I whiten my teeth, how I get them this white, how I maintain it, and just products I use for my teeth. AKA tooth party right now. Anyway, I'm going to start off with when I got braces. I got braces actually in the 6th grade. Which is kind of... I really, really thankful I got them then. Not because they're like ugly or anything, but like I just wanted to enter high school without them. Because I just... I'm sure every, anyone would want to get them off before high school. So I did get them in 6th grade. And the reason I actually got them was because one of my teeth on the side right here, right here, there, was actually pushed back into my mouth. It was like up there, which is like crazy. It was literally so back. My dentist was like, you need to like bring that forward. Like that was kind of bad. My bottom teeth have always been like pretty straight. There's nothing really ever majorly wrong with them. But I just got them just to like race on the bottom, just kind of just straighten them out, keep them straight and whatnot. But the top braces were my the reason I actually needed them the most because that tooth was pushed back. So I got them on in 6th grade. I had them on about 2 years. I got them off in, at the end of 8th grade. I had them off for graduation. 8th graduation. So that was pretty exciting for me as an 8th grader. But, um... Yeah, braces. What about them? They... If you haven't ever gotten them on, it doesn't hurt to get them on. It's kind of just a long and boring process. You just sit there with like, your mouth like, mmm. Well, they glue on all the brackets and they put the wire in and then they pull the wire and then basically you're set off into the world with braces and the next day your teeth hurt so bad let me tell you like oh my god I just remember how badly it hurt so I'm not trying to scare you but it does hurt the first couple days when you just have them tightened especially when you first got them on because your teeth are so not used to having pressure but the only way to move your teeth is to pull them into place you know so that was the first couple days hurt and then after that you get really used to them sometimes the, the brackets used to cut my gums and stuff so they give you wax you put on wax to put them on your teeth and that's fine I used to like always end up chewing the wax and that was kind of like my gum you're also not allowed to chew gum but my most people don't want, aren't allowed to chew gum I want to like, chew sugar free gum like I don't know people are, like now I know girls are like no like no like, don't give me gum I'm like alright like I don't know maybe it'll slow down your process I chewed gum throughout the whole time I had braces sugar free most gum is sugar free except for like bubble yum but I wasn't really not really a big fan of bubble yum because the flavor lasts three seconds and I don't know, it's really big, and I look, like, so disgusting, too, and I'm like, hey, so, I'm not a fan of that, anyway, so I had those on for, yeah, like I said, two years, two years isn't that long of a time, I know people have them on for a shorter time, I know people have them for on for a year, I know a girl has them on for, like, four years, so it really just depends on, like, as much work as your teeth need, it is really annoying at the end when they tell you, yeah, you're getting them off next time, congrats, and you come in, yeah, four more weeks, and you're like, I was supposed to get them off so much earlier, I was supposed to get them off, like, two months before I actually did, I ended up getting them off in the April of 8th grade, so... Ooh, it's April, so like two years ago, basically. So I've been braces free for two years. As soon as I get, as I had them on, the one thing you want is perfect white teeth. Let's be honest, that's what you want when you're getting braces. I was so, so pissed that you can't obviously whiten your teeth while you have braces on because you can't really do anything. But the day I got braces off, I I went to my dentist, actually, and consulted her about, I, was, I wanted to get my teeth whitened professionally. <laughs> That's what I wanted, and my parents were like, okay, like, had them on for two years, been a lot of crap on them, that's gonna look great. She told me that's good, my teeth, my gums are really, really sensitive, I have, like, the most sensitive gums, if I even floss too hard, they'll bleed, I just have really sensitive gums, which isn't necessarily a good thing, they get sensitive from, like, mouthwash and stuff like that, so she said that, that whitening would be really, really painful for me, and I don't really have a, okay, I don't understand this, I think I have a high pain tolerance, but I, I, I tell myself I don't. Like, I really am scared of needles at doctors, like, extremely scared. Like, I cried at my doctor a couple months ago, and I was like, grow up. So I'm pretty not chill with, like, needles. But then again, I got my belly button pierced, um, and that didn't hurt me at all. So I don't really know if I'm, like, high pain tolerance or low pain tolerance because my belly button did not hurt at all. And 
if people are asking about it, yeah, it doesn't really hurt. So then, but then people are like, do you have high pain tolerance or do you have low pain tolerance? So, um, like, what it hurt me, what hurt me? And I'm like, I really don't know because I'm really scared of shots usually because I just don't like needles and I feel like it hurts. My ears hurt i feel i feel like my ears hurt more than my belly button i don't know like it, these just kind of sting i have i have my ears double pierced and my second holes i haven't worn in the longest time so um i don't know i remember when i just had a single hole i wanted a second hole i was like i want to be a cool rebel i want to get a second hole and i did and i don't know i never really end up wearing it i just i don't know like i wear i'm not gonna say never because like, my after week i wore it like i wear it sometimes i have face where i'll just wear it when i wear like another earring but i just like to wearing big earrings and when i wear big earrings i usually don't wear a second home anyway so i decided i could not get my teeth professionally one because i had been too much pain so i went tried crest white strips i've been using those ever since i buy a box a month usually well, it's different now. So I used to buy the box. They have different levels. They have five levels. They like going one through five. I used to buy. They didn't. They used to be one through three. When I first got my off, they were one through three, maybe one through four. I want to say one through three. Threes are the strongest. I use the threes. It came with a pack of twenty. The box cost around fifty dollars. When which is I don't think that bad honestly because professional teeth whitening ranges from like five hundred to eight hundred depending on where you go. So fifty dollars a box for like twenty strips is totally fine. I think and a lot cheaper to do then professionally waiting them. I started doing that. Literally at first I was very consistent. I since I just got a race stuff, that was the number one thing I wanted. My teeth super, super white. I was really consistent. I did it probably every single day on time. I was supposed to keep it on for 45 minutes and I did that. I did that for probably I wanna say like a year. I bought the box every month when I ran out. I did it for a year. But I really don't want to say, I, I'm probably never almost missed a day. I was just so consistent with it. It's really easy. I used to think I put them on after school. I just put them on like after school. I did my homework. It's 45 minutes. I would take them off when I thought it was around the time. And my teeth were so white. Like, they still are so white. So that literally, I can vouch for Crest White Strips. I'm not sponsored about them all myself. They work. Like, they straight up work really well. They're amazing. Downfalls of them are they kind of hurt your teeth. Like, if your teeth are sensitive, they kind of just like leave your gums really tingly. They do sometimes cause little tooth aches, and I know if anyone who's tried them, maybe you know what I'm talking about. Like there just be one tooth for me, it's the bottom one, which is kind of like aches, and it kind of hurts really bad for a second. You kind of like hold yourself back. That one hurts really, really bad. But then it's like it's just a second stinging. There's it just does that sometimes when I have them on. It's not every time. It's like once every eight times it'll just ache. So maybe it's just like really annoyed from all like the chemicals on it could probably touch the gum too much you what you do to the white strips you take it out and you put it on the top and bottom so you just for a year i kind of stopped using them for like about six months because they kind of keep your they maintain the white they say they maintain the white. i want it, i think it says for six months after um and i think it maintains it longer like your teeth after you if you use these crust strips, your teeth are at like an ultimate new white. It's not like hair, you have to keep bleaching it to keep it like your hair, your teeth are like like white. They're good, like after you've done this for a year. So if you don't do it for like another year, your teeth are probably going to be at like the same level of white. Depending on obviously how much coffee and tea you drink. I drink coffee and tea every day. Tea I drink at least three times a day, every single day. I don't think I've ever had a day when I haven't drank at least three cups of tea. I love it, I make it myself. I usually get coffee at least five times a week so I'm like a really heavy coffee tea drinker aka what stains your teeth so it's not really good but I'm not going to sacrifice my coffee and tea because I need coffee to get through my day and I just love tea I just love black tea which is of course the one that stains your teeth the most I try to drink green tea as much as I can and try to stay away from um staining my teeth but I end up just drinking black tea all the time and so that's kind of why it, my teeth after the year, after the six months, weren't as white. Like, they were pretty, they were still like white, white teeth. And I still left for those six months after not doing it, after like just drinking tea and coffee. Got comments being like, oh my gosh, your teeth are so white. Oh my god, did you get them bleached? Did you get them white? And like, blah, blah, blah. When I just, no, I didn't. I just kept drinking my tea and coffee and whatnot. After those six months, I decided they came out with new ones and I have them here to show you. I just got this box yesterday, actually, because they ran out. They got, they made more levels. They made it a level four and five. The level four, I think it's like, level three, you know, is vivid. Four, I wanted to, I don't know what it's called, probably like extreme vivid. This is like, this is called, this is five. This box, I think is like $70, I want to say 60. I know it's more than like 55 or 60. I think it's around $65. This is the five level. It's intensive professional effects, two hours daily for seven days. So it only does come with seven strips. And it is like $70. So it is like $10 a strip. Then again, I always just think that how it is in the end cheaper than 
getting it professionally done because when you get it professionally wet in once they'll bleach your teeth and after that again you're gonna have probably have buildup and they like or color on top of them they even tell you when your teeth are done that how oh, you probably just keep get white strips to keep them up sometimes so for me I just rather put on these white strips these I don't know if you know what the strips look like these are what the white strips look like come in a little package you rip it there's a top and a bottom piece top you put on the top you glue it on the top of your teeth and fold over the bottom same thing with the top it says to leave them on for two hours, but I have a really, I think, a trick. I don't think, maybe people know this, maybe people don't. I do this, I've done this, and, like, no one knows. And people who I've told have, like, said it's, like, a miracle worker. You leave it on overnight. I know, I know we get so many comments that are saying that it's so unsafe, that's so bad for your teeth, and I'm sure it is not good for your teeth. I'm sure it's not good for my gums. I'm sure it's not a good thing to do. But, um, I actually left them on overnight last night, and it gives it, like, legit, I say legit too much. It honestly... Wanted your teeth so much. Like, I haven't wiped my teeth or done white strips for a while. Like, I, re I, I like, right now I just kind of go on and off with them when I feel like I want my teeth whiter. Right now I'm just going to finish off this box. Maybe take a break for a month or two. It just really depends on, like, when you want to do it. If you want quick results, definitely these. These, honestly, like, if your teeth are not that white, I don't, I don't know, it's really hard for me to clear up my teeth now because my teeth are naturally, not naturally, but, like, because I've done this for a year and stuff, pretty white. But I'm saying if you didn't ever use white strips, I think that if you use like these overnight, it will light, whiten them at least like three shades. It's just a really strong chemical and it says two hours max and I have a mom for what, eight when I sleep? So it's like four times the dosage you're supposed to use. But I think it works really well. I did them last night. My teeth are, got a lot whiter just overnight. Oh, I've never showed you my teeth up close. Should I show you my teeth? These are my teeth. I have pretty small teeth. I don't know. I don't think my teeth are small. But I also don't think they're big. I like the size of my teeth for my mouth. So I, if I had smaller teeth, I probably would not like that. And I really don't think I want bigger teeth than I have. Maybe I could have a little bit bigger teeth, but I like my teeth. So these are my teeth. Mm. I've noticed I don't smile with my teeth. And a lot of people have noticed that. And they ask, why don't you smile with your teeth? I don't know. I just don't like the way my face... This is such a weird thing. I don't like the way my face looks when I smile with my teeth. I mean, on occasion I will. Like, I have to do it. I, you know how, like, you as a person, you know when you look good. Like, when you smile. Wait, you know, you like, you know your poses you like to do. You know, like, what facial expression you like to do. I know some people go, like, they smile. Some people go, like, casual. Like, there's people who smile in different ways. When I smile, like, if I smile with my teeth, my face ends up looking really tight. My eyes look, like, really wide. So I'm looking, like, I just, like, look really, like, confused and, like, and I feel like in all the pictures I like this, I'll do this demo, uno, dos, tres. Just like my cheek lips together. I don't want to say it's like a duck, it's not like, but I'm like, it's just kind of like together. <laughs> I don't know, I do smile with my like cheek sometimes, but when I do that, I like only smile at the top. I kind of just go like that, and like, I don't think I ever smile like, like with the both of my teeth. In picture, when I usually go on vacation, my parents are like, no, smile with your teeth. I don't usually smile with my teeth, but like, if I'm not, I don't know. I just smile differently, just have like faces, but how do you guys smile? Let me know. Do you guys, it's like actually like a cool thing. Do you smile just with your top like that? Or do you smile like both? Or do you like, do you like, I don't know. Some people like put their like tongue like really slightly in the middle so you can kind of see both teeth. Like I'm not seeing people go like, like that. I kind of like that. Alright, that was getting a really creepy conversation. Anyway, so I use these whenever I kind of feel like it now, but I feel like if you want to whiten your teeth right now and you want to do it like over time, if you have like time, I would just recommend getting like the level 3s which are vivid, putting them on for 40 minutes a day and doing that. If you really, most people want results quickly, I'm not a patient person, I'll be the first to admit that, so if you're not a patient person, these are really good. Leave them on overnight. I don't want to like be recommending to do this because I feel like I'm like making like all of you guys re rebel against crust, but like it works like overnight it really works if you ever try and you want to come back to this video and comment or like you want to tweet me pictures of before and after did overnight that'd be so cool oh my god let's do it let's do like a hashtag where i can see everyone's teeth i'm a weird person i like feeling people's teeth like i want before i wanted to be a dentist but i decided like no it's not i'm not about that life but what hashtag bunny hashtag bunny hashtag hmm Teeth transformation. Yeah. You're going to hashtag that. I mean, if you want to do a before and after picture before you try any of the crust ones. But again, these are my favorite ones. And yeah, they're called Intensive Professional Effects. It tells you how to apply them, even though I just did a really awesome demo. Um, I'm just going to put those right there. 
Then, we're probably wondering, hmm, what toothpaste do you use? I use, like, the whole crust, like, line. It sounds like I'm so, so promoting it, but I promise I bought all this myself. But I use the, they have a lot of different 3D white ones. I've always used this gla the glamorous white one. I don't, I don't notice a difference. I've used, like, the regular white, the, the 3D white, the vivid. I just get the glamorous one now. I've well, gone through probably, like, I've used this tube, this type of toothpaste, ever since I got my braces off. So for two years, I've legitimately been using this. And it does help maintain your white. I also use a mouthwash, but I ran out last night, too. So I didn't get a new one when I went last night because I forgot. But I just got the 3D white, big white one, <laughs> Vivid mouthwash. I use it in the morning to get rid of, like, bad breath. And I've heard that people who only use the mouthwash, I've, like, watched a couple videos, say that, that that, like, helps to whiten them. Not a lot, but just keep them white. So, and I use that, so maybe that helps to keep it white. So I do use, like, the whole system. Um, I think my toothbrush is, like, the one that comes with the 3D white one, too. I'm not sure, though. Just kidding, this is Oral-B. This is my toothpaste, <laughs> toothbrush. And I have, like, the Steri Pot on it. I, look how dirty this one is. This is so gross. I've had this one on for, like, probably, like, four months. Um, I came to show you another one. I'm going to change it right now. I bought them. It came in like came in the orange and red one. Um, yeah, look how gross it is. It just this is like helps clean, keep your toothbrush like sanitary and like disinfect all the germs and keep it like super clean. And I also like travel a lot or like you not even know travel. Like if I go to my friend's house, I always sleep over at Bendy's house. If you don't know that, like not that I live there, but like you know what I mean. Gonna not do it, worry about it being dirty. But let's just take a moment about how dirty this is. That is like disgusting. I love teeth. So, um, take that one off. And I'm gonna put the red one on right now. Um, I know they come in like a different color. They come in like blue, blue and green. And yeah, I'm really, I'm the worst person at opening things. I just get really aggressive with it. I just opened that. Did you see that? My cats are cuddling in my bed. They're meowing right now. Aren't they just the sweetest? Do you hear that? I can't. I'm not even kidding. It's right there. Ooh, I love putting on like I love like opening brand new things. It's like a, it's like a hobby, not a hobby. Just like I just love opening brand new things. This is tightly sealed. Why is this so tightly sealed? It smells minty. <laughs> the final touches. Yeah. So yeah, oh, it has like a little thing I didn't explain to you. This is the thing that cleans it, like the little, just has like a disinfectant on it. Just put it in your toothbrush. Ooh, the red matches my red better. That's exciting. And yeah, this is the toothpaste I use. So that's basically all I have to tell you guys about my teeth. If you have any other questions, hopefully I covered like a lot of bases with you guys. Any other questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will get back to you. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't wait to talk to you guys.